Hello, yes, I'm driving. I don't like to do driving videos really anymore, but um, God put something in, in my in my spirit, you guys. So I, I've been talking to a lot of people recently who um, are very burdened and heavy laden and like are reaching their breaking point. Um, see, I don't want to do a video like this. I need y'all to feel me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to look cool with glasses and stuff on, but I'm also trying to drive. But anyway, um, they're burdened. They feel like if I take one more thing on to me, I'm going to break. Do you feel like that? Do you feel like that today? Coach V, been a long time. Um, so I myself have been feeling that way. And I'm like, Lord, I just, I can't. I've took on an extra job. Um, not a job. Let me rephrase that. A spiritual assignment. Because you know we're supposed to be fruitful and multiply you know what you're doing with your talent did you bury your talent you got a couple of streams of your talent multiply your gift so i'm multiplying my gift right i'm now uh, adult education instructor instructor yeah new word whatever i'm serving in a different capacity using my gifts thank you lord jesus for the gifts but anyway it's been a lot and when I say a lot, learning something new, um, education, whatever the case may be, if you are challenged, now you all know we're living in the last days and we are coming into the fullness of the Gentiles. Now what that means is because we are under grace, under New Testament grace, under faith, um, we are saved by grace through faith, we are like the Israelites were back in the day when they was under the Mosaic law under the Ten Commandments um, where they had a, a fullness basically and because their fullness or their wickedness reached a, a boiling point to where it just was getting ready to boil over that's why God sent Jesus to fulfill the law y'all with me I'm gonna preach a little bit on here today it's gonna be a quick video though so um now we are in the fullness of the Gentiles, okay? So the wickedness and the evil and the uh, uh, catastrophic events, the fires, the earthquakes, the floods, those things are reaching a fullness, a, bo a boiling point, if you will. The point where you must be an active Christian and not be passive. You with me? So in this the people who are bearing burdens, those who are called, who are in Christ Jesus, it is getting a little heavy for us. You know, you know, I'm talking like every day of the week I was having a headache. Like every day I had a headache and I'm like, I ain't about to keep popping no pills. I, I you know, I, I'm just not a pill popper. I believe in the healing power of the Lord Jesus. So I was like, Lord, we gonna have to do something with this. And my, my brother, Carlos Warner, what's up bro he gave me this scripture and y'all gonna ask me he he had told me and i looked it up but it was jesus okay i want to say it was matthew 15 don't quote me on it i'm gonna have to post it but um where jesus said you know i have the power to pick up my life and i have the power to put it down so as i was talking to the lord you know we are called to pick up our cross right pick up our cross and follow god now what does that mean follow jesus what does that mean it means to serve it means to sacrifice our life and what we would do or what we would want to do for the calling of god of service love and servanthood to this generation so as i'm talking to god about this right the Holy Spirit, you know, I'm just in conversation with the Holy Spirit. And it's like, okay, how can one pick up their life and pick up their cross too? Follow me. Now I'm going to stop and point. Follow me. So if I'm called, if you called, if the body of Christians are called, if the soldiers and disciples of Jesus Christ are great commissionally called to pick up their cross and make more disciples and to follow Jesus, especially in the last days, how can we pick up our lives and carry the burden of our lives? Yeah, I don't know who that is. 
uh, one of them calls. How can we pick up our life and deal with our life and our burdens? Because Jesus said his yoke was easy. His burden is light. Why is my burden heavy? God said, because you keep picking up your life. Jesus couldn't carry his cross and his life. Who listening? Who listening today? Lord, give it to him. He couldn't pick up his cross and his life. He had to lay his life down to pick up his cross and do what God called him to do. He had to make a choice. A choice. Every day, we have to make a choice. Are we going to pick up the burden of our life and carry it on our backs like we ain't saved and we ain't got Jesus? And we trying to do everything in our power? Or are we going to go, here you go, Lord. Oh, no, no, no. The scripture says cast it. You're doing more like this. You casting your care on God because he cares for you. You throwing it over there like, I can't do it no more. You casting it. Because God's strength is made perfect in our weakness. Hallelujah. I had to realize that I was carrying too much that I was picking up my life and worrying about all this going on instead of picking up my cross God said I got your life you just pick up your cross and go do do what I called you to do I get so excited when I talk about the Lord and I get you know what I'm saying you know I'll be crying on videos I'll be trying not to help it I get so excited because his power and his anointing that he has given us, his strength, his yoke, his burden, light, easy. Why are we heavy laden, beloved? My beautiful people, why? Cast your care upon the Lord today because he cares for you. You can't carry this. You ain't meant to be self-made and independent. You're meant to be dependent. On the spirit of God that resides in you if you're a believer. And if you're not a believer, this is a call to action. Because these days that we are living in now, God is calling on the passive Christians, the lukewarm Christians. It's time to put some fire in your belly. It's time to be active and to do what God has called you to do. To be fruitful and multiply your gifts so that the lost can see that there is power. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the power of God unto salvation. The power. People are like, well, what do you mean by that? Well, it means that when you can't go any further, when you can't handle any more, that you have the power of God that takes it away and you pick up your cross and he'll take care of everything else. I believe that we are going into jubilee. Now you'll have to you'll have to read this and people may go, how she know what she a pro I'm whatever God says that I am. But Jubilee is is a blessing of the Lord on his people, those who are really close to him, those who are connected with him at the heart, those who knows know him and he knows them, those people. Today I got some news that a few things is gonna be taken care of, not just one time, not just two times, but three times. And I had to sit there and go, mm -hmm. I, I called it as September 10th that we will walk into the year of Jubilee. And, and see, I, like I said, don't, don't test me on this is something I believe in my heart. I'm not saying it's a prophetic word from God. I'm, I'm saying that I was talking to God about it. Like, Lord, you know what? I think in September, we about to go into some serious blessing. But see, the world is going to look opposite from the kingdom of God. Anytime you see turmoil and things going on in the world, yes, if we're picking up our life, we're going to fall under that. But if we're picking up our cross, we over here in the kingdom because we're in the world, not of it. So we seated in heavenly places with our joint heir, Jesus Christ, who, who has everything as his footstool. You follow me? Be encouraged today, brothers and sisters, that there is power. There is an encouragement. God will strengthen you, but you must pick up your cross instead of your life. Seems odd, but your faith will get you through. Are you ready? 
It's September 1st. I just realized that. September 1st. Well, and, and people will text me. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm, 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 mm. I hope this word sows a seed in you today because God will water it and it will produce growth. Use your gifts. Do not be passive anymore in your faith. This is a call to be active. And to start this season of life, It is a new season. It's a new month, but we're going into a new season. You see everything that's going on. You look at the news. Look at everything that's going on. Don't be naive. Be wise. Wisdom is the fear of the Lord, and understanding is to depart from evil. Understand this. Thank you for listening. Coach V, I got some stuff ahead. Y'all going to roll with me? We going to learn together? We going to grow our faith together? Cloud by day, fire by night. Follow us on Instagram me it's not us well it's us it's an army it's kingdom army follow me on instagram if you if you wish but this is mainly just to sow a seed of encouragement and power and a call to action to you today happy september god bless love you guys coach v peace